If it's in your newsfeed, it's in the feed with Amy and Sean. 1027 VGS. Every day, mistakes are made. And sometimes you beat yourself up over it. Woman in Maryland made a big mistake. Seven-year-old woman walked into the store to buy lottery tickets. Now, again, most states have a lottery. We don't. They have multiple games. It's not just the Mega Millions and the Powerball, but they get the local stuff as well. She wanted to play the multi-match lottery, but she didn't realize after the tickets were printed, she actually accidentally played the match bonus match five lottery. Mm-hmm. That accident made her fifty thousand dollars. Wow! She hit, didn't like total accident. Wouldn't yep. have played that game. Hit fifty grand. So a happy accident could have pay off her mortgage and fund some of her retirement with that. See, great. whenever um, I go to the sports book and I make my bets, and they tell you to check it right, yeah, and I never do, and so I'll put it in, and I'm like, oh, that's wrong, but. Do I go back and change it? Or is that like a lucky, yeah. you know? So I never change it. Yeah. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. You know, yesterday I looked at my um, station casino app <laughs> to see uh, I told if, you I if I made a terrible mistake while listening to you uh, on your uh, Amy's Lock of the Week. Turns out I did. Well, let's be honest. I told you that my Lock of the Week was the bills and that covered. And then I was like, all right, I'll throw another one to you. Yeah, that was a bonus. And nobody saw that coming. It was a terrible game. Terrible. I truly didn't see it at all. <laughs> I, but I watched on my phone. This is not a sports station, but like the last I got minute, you this week. The last minute of that game was the worst clock management I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> <laughs> so, wait, you're going to burn the clock for what? What are you doing? <laughs> Anyways, um, parents in Connecticut, they got a lot more than they bargained for when they held a birthday party for their two-year-old Cyrus. All of a sudden, one of the partygoers felt someone sniffing them. It was a massive bear. <laughs> the bear came out from under the, uh, out of the woods all the party goers rushed inside the house. Some got into cars trying to beep the horns to shoo the bear away. But uh-huh. the bear had no uh, appetite for humans, wanted to eat the cupcakes. And there's video of this bear just munching on some cupcakes that was left on the porch. And wow. No one was hurt. Okay, very, very that's good. That's the, uh, the, the issue with uh, the woods. And then finally, I, I do love entrepreneurship, as anyone should. A guy in Tennessee... He was arrested for being, frankly, smart. What, mm-hmm. the, what's the first uh, first rule of real estate? Location, location, oh, location. Yeah. It's the same thing for entrepreneurship. The guy was stealing TVs from the local Walmart. Where do you sell those TVs that you want to turn around for a profit? Online? No. Oh. At the Walmart. <laughs> He Come on. stayed in the parking lot Come and on. started selling the TVs. To <laughs> like a pop-up? <laughs> it's God, a pop-up people shop. People are so stupid. It's like, hey, listen, it's 800 in there. I'll sell it for 200 Gosh, uh, people are so annoying. <laughs> so dumb. Honestly, you know what? Brilliant, if it works. <laughs> right. Obviously, it didn't. He was charged with theft. But, you know, listen, hey, make that money. <laughs> I guess, listen, I mean, you know, what's the deal with getting a business license or something? Just do it right there. <laughs> right.